is a code 19 right off the bat. Code 19. Let's go square that away. Easy one, rare creature. I say easy, but it's early in the morning, so we'll see how good my fingers and eyes are working. Always good, Ludia, to start off the game with the code 19 in the morning. Get the juices flowing. Almost rushed right through that. Should be tappers until we get to the last one, and we'll have the slider to deal with. There we go. Two seventy-five becomes four hundred. Oh my goodness! Uh, it should be legendary, I think. Comes the uh, issue with only having one in the Kadic. I only have one Lophosaurus, a level 20, so I only get the 305 the DNA, which is going to be 390 if I manage to make this perfect. Gracious, they want us to practice, practice. Ooh, 490. Hmm, who's this? Ah, yes. Oh, our very, very full rare hybrids. Uh, you can see here that uh, the difference between, uh, let's say, this guy at 490 DNA up to what it says, um, which I believe is really 680 if we can get it perfect, um, versus the uh, Arlophosaurus. We have this right here. There's only one in there at 20. Uh, but this one has got uh, almost a full paddock. Can't see right now because this, but I'll show you afterwards. So, the more creatures, the better. Uh, even if they're not as uh, strong. That's how you can get uh, additional DNA. Oh, you son of a gun. Son of a gun. Ah, uh, well, we probably won't even get to 490, which is such a weird thing that they you miss one early on. Um, but technically it is better if you miss one early on than if you miss one later in the game. Uh, because if you can still get to the end, which we should be able to do here as long as I don't mess up this last slider, the multiplier on the DNA is better um, because it was higher at the end, but even then, if you see, only 235 missed one. One tap went from 490 to 235, and even worse, went really from 680, um, which is what the possible amount would have been. Holy my jeez. This is a Code 19 tutorial. Oh my goodness. A very easy creature here, so things are gonna be slow comparatively. I'm gonna slow down the taps. Slow down the slider. So slow. So slow comparatively. That's, that's good to see the, the difference between the um, the different levels. So for those that are have uh, mostly commons and rares and even super rares with low amounts in them. Uh, you should get, be getting these easier. They even get easier than this um, if uh, you have less commons in there. Whew, okay. Hopefully we are done with those for a while. But geez. Alright, 
Let's get some park maintenance stuff out of the way. Make sure our market's clear. Stacked up on Apatosaurus fossils last night. Uh, let's get uh, this going all the way. Yes, perfect. Trying to get some room in here on this guy. Two slots is probably fine for now. Uh, got two slots on this guy. Two slots on this guy. Let's go. I'll put this guy in. Oh my goodness. Um, gonna go look at the tree cover real quick just so we can get some stuff restarted in here. I'll take that. Take that. And that'll be all I take. Just those two. Nothing else uh, exciting in there. Uh, get this guy going. Oh, all the way. Perfect. That was a one day fuse. Level 40 Rajastega. Excellent. Do you know what the Rajastega means? King Roof. His name is derived from Sanskrit. That's great. Uh, I've collected those last little things. Part of a set of gills, despite being unable to swim. Interesting. Okay. It'd be on. Fantastic if it was a amphibian instead of a carnivore. Um, I'll put it up near the uh, Indoraptor area, but not uh, past it. Let's collect this. So resources. What creature do we want to put into that second slot? Do not have any of these that need to be fused. Do we have any of our flyer friend? Nope, not level 40. Um, let's see. Don't think any of those are ready. Trying to find something that's got a long fuse time, because uh, that's what I like to put into those uh, final spots. Do you want to make a level 40 of a Dico switches? No, I don't think so, not yet. Um, uh, switches. Do I have another one of those? Hmm. Well, let's. Uh, Thing right now that uh, needs to get into that final slot. Don't need another level 40. Well, hmm. Um, I'll do a level 30 of this guy. I haven't done that yet. Alright, let's go square away this one, 19. Uh, only two creatures in uh, this paddock. I've not gone through the um, time to create a higher level of this guy yet. There we go. Two seventy five should be four hundred. We can do this perfect. Oh no, five twenty five, even better. And that's one of those funny ones because that. For only two creatures in here, two level 10s, 525 DNA, if you do it perfect. Um, if you, let's say this guy, right? Level 30 versus two level 10s. If I were to get a code 19 on this guy, I would get less DNA because I only got two. 
Um, and then even some of them, um, I'm trying to remember, where's my list of stuff? Yeah, and then at, uh, at three creatures, and you do get more experience. You get 70 to 90. But, um, and, you know, eight super DNA. But you get up to 305 DNA, which seems like you'd be getting more. But when you do the perfect on that, you only get 390. So it's weird. Like, for tournament creatures, it's actually better if you only keep two. Um, now, I don't have any data on more than two or more than three um, because I've, uh, I've been fusing them, right? So I, I keep fusing, trying to make uh, level 40s. Uh, so as soon as I get three, I have more than enough. And I haven't got to a spot where I've got four and had a, like, for instance, in this one, if I have another Pachyranosaurus in there and then get a Code 19 on it, I'd be able to get some, some fresh data. But, um, yeah, it's just odd that uh, two is, like, the magic number um, in these, but then you get less super DNA, potentially, um, less experience. That's something you're looking for, which I'm not. But it's just, uh, it's just odd. Oh, gosh, sorry. Yawn, yawn, yawn. All right, so let's, uh, let's... Uh, collect to this guy. Alright. Feed him up. Um, collect here. Five. I actually did get 11 tickets. I didn't know if that was just a glitch. Okay. We'll do our 20 of that. Oh, we get here. Anything good? Anything good? Not so good. Uh, marsupial lion. Okay. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna get our golden creature. Gold prize. Oh, I would have liked to get a bang of prize. Oh, but I can use a metal source too, so it's okay. Still try to make a level 40 of the Megalosaurus, even after, um, uh, is that this? Uh, after making the hybrid. Uh, so we're almost back up there. Three more, so that's one, so only two more after that, so that's nice. Um, but I don't want to put them in yet. I don't want the um, marsupial line in there. Uh, what are we going to pick up today? Uh, potential legendary, no KO within the team, it's Velociraptor, yeah, so we'll put, uh, we'll do this event so we can put this guy in, uh, in there. Uh, let's see what we have. No KO. Okay. Um, do you have to use mods? That's a question. Um, no KO. Lots of stuff coming off cooldown. Um, well, well, let's do uh, let's do this. And we'll go to amphibians. Not that we need another amphibian because we're able to one shot these guys. Um, I don't see any mods on their side. Yes, that's fine. Oh, okay, we don't. Oh, no requirements. Okay. Well. Just go at it, I guess. Uh, mods available if you need it, I guess, which is nice for you know low level players. You might need some mods to be able to take these guys out. Higher level players just go in and smack them around. Name of the game. This is a very easy. Uh, so Raptors first. Oh, let's get our DNA timer. Let's go click that. 1200 DNA, check, check. Uh, let's see what we have in the second battle. Ooh, Dominus Rex. Okay, so some folks might need some mods to take care of this guy, especially since you can't have any losses on this. Um, 
but uh, what we will do is we will just toss in Amphibians, we will go for Gorgasuchus and that's it, that's it, just Gorgasuchus, yes, just one. Should be a two attack, we will win. Uh, we can survive a three attack. Excellent. Make it easy on us, we don't have to guess. And we go. That was a very easy event. Luthia. Which I guess is nice. I do like the look of the pack. But nothing really to fear. <laughs> I'll take the bucks. And there's the Velociraptor. And a small amount of multi points. So we go 60. I don't know why they have reduced the amount so much on those specialty packs. It just seems kind of odd to me. Um, right, let's place this guy. And then we'll place the Megalosaurus. Um, do I want to hatch out that marsupial line? Probably should have done this before, so I would have only had to pay 150 dino buck. Opening, mm, yeah, why not? We will hatch out the marsupial line. One's getting full. Need to make some space potentially. Do some fuses. Um, okay. Let's uh, let's square the stakeholders' visit away. Always a fun one. Um, okay, so we've got uh, pterosaur following the carnivore, so we cannot use an amphibian to take out the udon right away. And the Metrophodon has got such high attack that the only amphibian we can put in and not get one-shotted is our level 30 Gorgosuchuses. Um, but what we can do... three three one nine which is not enough to kill our level 23 Toffodons in one hit so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna put in a throwaway and then we're gonna put in a dose um well no we're gonna put in one Toffodon actually you know what we're gonna we're gonna level up a creature um where is my I haven't been doing this because I wanted to track the health of this creature, and this is going to be the perfect event to toss him in. All right, it's Molodon, level 21. What is your health for you? some data here as I'm going because I want to make oh, what I do there One, two, six, nine. Uh, six, seven, six, seven. all right so right now we're at 10,539 
11.052, so we're still under the Indoraptor ferocity, so we are still good to keep going. Four, six, five, one, seven, six, seven, seven, eight, three, eight, zero, seven, and we're going to be underneath all the way, because like I said, this is very similar to the Orgasuchus, Four zero one eight eight. All right, so twelve zero eighty one is its ferocity at level thirty, which is still way well below. Um, this should end up kind of right around the gorgeous which is if I was guessing correctly. Yep. So in between second sutures and gorgeous sutures, second sutures. Level 28 is 13,473 ferocity, so that's right below the Indoraptor of 13,613. Um, but there's a decent jump between the Segnosuchus and the Gorgosuchus, and now the Segnosuchus and the Zamolodon um, from a ferocity standpoint. So, But what uh, that will be, so it will be cleanup um, because. I can two shot the Udon with uh, the Metrophodon, and then I can two shot the Metrophodon with the Somolodon, um, just like I can two shot the Metrophodon with the Metrophodon. Uh, and then uh, I can uh, be a three shot on the Gorgosuchus, but the Gorgosuchus is going to have to do quite a bit of attack in order to take out our Somolodon because of the amount of health. Um, which is why, and he's gonna have a long cooldown, so we'll see what that cooldown's gonna be, but it's gonna be long. So, sacrifice. We can play the Metrophodon in a couple of ways, so we can two-shot the Udon. It should be about 75-ish attack. 7,500 is what I'm saying. There we go, 7,586. Now we can either block one and survive. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Block one and survive. Let's see if he's uh, going to attack or not. In this case, it's almost better if he doesn't attack because we're blocking one. And he attack. And the reason I say that is because it's, well, it's going to take two shots to kill the Metrophodon. Actually, that's what I'm going to do. Swap over. Do the two shots here. And now the Gorgosuchus cannot kill the Zamolodon. I was going to try. And now I was going to take three. But then I was basically going to say if he wasn't going to attack, I could just use the Zamolodon uh, to build up uh, reserve if needed. Okay. There's the Metrophodon again. And this is gonna be Indoraptor. Uh, Indoraptor. And we'll do another Indoraptor. This is uh, the. Uh, Erlophosaurus is going to take three shots from anything. Um, three shots from Indoraptor, three shots from Atrophodon, three shots from any of our amphibians. Um, so it's kind of the same thing. The only difference would have been um, they can't kill our Indoraptors in two, so we can do some reserving here. <clears throat> we just have to be careful that Metrophodon because you can two shot our Indoraptors. There we go. Okay, so we're going four. It's going to take three. Uh, and it's going to take the Metrophodon two. And he's only going to have three, which means that we're going to have plenty to kill him with our Indoraptor. Just got to think it through. Obviously, I'm knowing what the uh, AI is going to do is helpful.
I don't know if we could call it AI, but what the coding for the other side is that AI would make it seem like it's got the ability to think and change its actions. Um, and that's just not the case with uh, with with this game. Uh, all right, so now we got the second suit just in there. Ah. <clears throat> so let's see. Hmm. trying to I'm running through scenarios in my head and the uh, packy is gonna take three from just about anything to kill it so I could put a sacrifice in build up the three but it's gonna take three from an Indoraptor or a Metrophodon if I do Metrophodon and is going to be killed by the Sigma Suchus because he will swap over the Gorgosuchus, which would be the one that would come in after I kill the Pachygalosaurus to the Sigma Suchus, and the Sigma Suchus will be able to one-shot our Metrophodon, leaving us to face the Sigma Suchus and the Gorgosuchus. Um, hmm. See, I could do a two shot from a Metrophodon on the Sigma Suchus. So if I do two Metrophodons, that means three. Yep, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, so even though we are going to Take out the, it still leaves us three Metrophodons, which should be enough for the other legendary event. Um, all right, we'll see if this plays out the way I just described. So we'll do three shots in the Pachygalosaurus. Psychosuchus will come in. He will more than likely swap the Psychosuchus and one shot us. We will then two shot the uh, Psychosuchus with Metrophodon. Block one. Gorgosuchus will come in. We'll have three moves. We'll take three to kill us. He might go for it, he might not. We'll have to see, and then we'll have to take a guess at that point. So let's, uh, let's see what we get here. We could have done this differently. We could have thrown in an amphibian uh, first. Um, but uh, this is, I think, the way to get the most... Um, known um, output, I guess I would say. So we should see the swap here. should see the attack. Boom. So we will two-shot the Sigma Suchus. Then we will block one. Let's see, we'll have three. Now, this is the one question mark. What will he do? There we go. So, did enough to make sure he's only got one left, so we'll take two to kill him, so we got plenty. Alright, what are we gonna get on the stakeholder's wheel? Uh, the lowest price possible, of course. But, in this wheel is the one time I make the exception to purchase with Dino Bucks the wheel spin because the chances and 850 it's better than 700 um, but 950 dino bucks for 1700 um, I will I will take that the loyalty points I like to get um, and because um, the general trade is not quite two to one um and the chance of getting something better than that is is decent so um that's that's kind of why i do that so this this is actually a fairly difficult event typically um and for you know you're only getting a legendary um which is not terrible 
Uh, it makes for good trade for ha trade harbor fodder um, or potentially hatching out if you need them. Um, and the legendary rumble, you have a very small chance of getting a, um, a hybrid, which is which is nice that there is a chance, um, but no no bucks, of course. Um, and you get a really high chance of coins on the first one, a really high chance of food on the second one, a really high chance of DNA on the third one. Uh, doesn't mean you will only get those, it just means that your chances are likely. But that's only if you get the 20% chance of getting the pack in the first place. So let's uh, let's knock this guy out. Um, and since we've got all carnivores, we can do amphibians. We can also do... Um, We'll do one amphibian and we'll do an Indoraptor. The level 37 Indominus Rex 2 coming in. That's exciting. Such a good looking creature. Such a good looking design. Two shot there. Don't need to block. Uh, because two shots from the Indominus Rex Gen 2 is not enough to kill us. I'm gonna do it anyways. So I'll do two shots here. We didn't even need the Indominus, technically. Could have thrown in a throwaway creature. He's probably gonna go for it since he can kill us in two. Oh, did not. Okay, well, we're gonna go for it. He's gonna take enough to try to have to kill us. That uh, if he was blocking, that we would have been able to take him out with the um, our Indoraptor. So, all right, uh, what do we got next? Uh, okay, so this is gonna be an Indoraptor special. I say Indoraptor special because uh, we will be able to use just one Indoraptor because of the type of matchups that we have here. So do a two shot, we'll do one block um, because the Predator Run does have enough attack to kill us in two. Uh, the Alonga Minus is a good looking creature, but not needed with all the other carnivores that are currently available, especially when you have Indoraptors unlocked. Alright, will he go for it? Will he go for it? Yes, he does. Perfect. I say perfect because we are going to swap in this guy. Uh, and we're going to reserve two. It thinks we're blocking, so it thinks it has to do all three to kill us. And there we go. And we'll do a two shot here. One, two, and then we'll block three. Uh, because the second suit just will be able to two shot us. And then we'll reserve one, which will be the one we need to kill the Sigma Suchus. Alright, doesn't matter what he does, because he's only got four, we have a total of five. Mm, he tried to trick us. Could have been bad news if we only had uh, four, because uh, we probably wouldn't have gone for it. Or we might have gone for it thinking that he wouldn't have been able to kill us, and then, uh, well, bam. All right, um, so in this case, um, we've got some work to do here. Um, so we've got cross-class that we're facing, which is never a good thing, uh, meaning that uh, whatever we are strong against, they have something that's strong against also, and they've got two of them. And we've got high health that we were dealing with on the other side, it's actually a fairly hard matchup. Um, so let's see, so. The good news is we can use a level 30 Gorgas Uh We can use a Segna Suchus because we will need that to two-shot the Zamolodon. And we can use a Metrophodon as a balancer. Um, yes. 
Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually not attack. And I'm guessing this is gonna pull in over Zamalanar. I'm gonna be happy to take one shot from the Zamalanar. Best case scenario is I take one shot from the Zamalanar. Ah, see, when we go not attacking. Um, so, the question is, is he reserving, or is he blocking? We're going to pretend that he is blocking. And if he is blocking, we we'll to do one. If he's not blocking, we need to do two. Because the Lythron X will be able to one-shot us, right? I'll have... No, he won't be able to one-shot us. It'll be close, but he won't be able to one-shot us. Okay, so um, we can do this. Ah, see, it was not, it's not blocking, cheeky bugger. Oh, he can one-shot, I was looking at the wrong one. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, okay. That is trouble. That doesn't mean we're done here, it just means that it's trouble. Uh, so we'll have to do this. Uh, Glythronax. Come in. He's gonna swap. Uh, hopefully he goes for it. I only did one. It's kind of okay. So he's got one left. Uh, we'll have to use all three here to make sure we kill him. Okay, so he's gonna have five. He's gonna two shot us. Which means he's gonna have three left. Which means he cannot. So we're gonna go all four block here. So he's got six. Hopefully he goes for it. We need him to go for it in some fashion. Excellent. Okay. Could have been could have been bad. Note to self, make sure you look at all creatures before making a decision on to block or not block. I look at the weaker Glythronax, not the stronger Glythronax when I was doing my calculations. And I almost paid the price. Um, okay, so. Uh, let's do a throw away. And uh, we can do an indirector. And a metrophodon. Yeah, that's that's what we're gonna do. Have done an amphibian instead of an Indoraptor, but um, it is what it is. This is be three, which will get the Packy, which has very low attack. Probably gonna switch to the Gorgosuchus. The question is, is the Gorgosuchus gonna take an attack on us? There's the swap. It's not gonna take an attack on us. Um, so. He's got one left. Two will kill him. But if we don't kill him, he'll do three and kill us, leaving us still 3,000 plus damage to do. So we're going to block two here. So let's see if he goes for it. No, he's going to swap. Is he going to attack here? No. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to swap here and we're actually going to sacrifice the Indoraptor. There we go. So this is going to take three here to kill the Packy. One, two, three. 
Uh, we can survive two shots from the Gorgasuchus. Uh, he's gonna have four, so we're gonna block two, and then we have two to kill him regardless of what he does. So we have won this, just have to play it out. So he's not attacking. Now again, if he's blocking four and we only have five, we'd be in trouble. But since we have six, no, he's not blocking anything. Get on the prize window. Probably not the pack. And the Unicerus. And no, I'm not spending 4,000 bucks. Let's just refresh. So we'll go and take this guy out real quick. Ooh. Dirty, nasty. Um, okay. Well. Hello, Apatosaurus, where are you? <laughs> I need some, some health tankage, Apatosaurus. Uh, and that flippin' Procetarosaurus can almost one-shot us. Can't, but pretty dang close. Um, and then... Metrophodon. No, we'll do a. Um, we'll do an Indoraptor. And let's see here. I want to do this. Yeah, do Indoraptor. And then a. Another Indoraptor. Try, try this. Um, so what I'm trying to figure out is, so we're gonna do a Potosaurus. He's gonna probably swap to his Proceratorus because that's the highest attack creature he has. Um, if he does attack, um, we will continue to block um, until we get to a point where he's gonna be able to kill us. If we, even if we block all, he doesn't attack all. Um, and then uh, we'll sacrifice, let the uh, interrupt take out the Proceterosaurus, uh, block enough to take whatever the, the um, uh, Ramphornitis is going to do. Um, and then uh, hopefully kill, because everything's going to take a three shot uh, after the Proceterosaurus is going to take a two shot. So we'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. Um, this could be a little bit iffy. If he doesn't swap, it would be fantastic, but he's probably going to. Oh, maybe he's not. Okay. There's the two shots. Uh, we'll block one, because we can survive another one shot from him, and we'll block the one shot that'll happen from the other creatures. Okay. So now that he's got two on the books, potentially, uh, let's go with uh, Reserve one block. Right, so he's got three. Let's see if he goes for it. Nope. He's probably gonna go for it here. Oh, only one! Excellent! Okay, so he's got one left. So we will swap over. Do three here to kill him. Not going to block. goes for five hopefully four okay so he's got one left so we'll go one two three four five six and then we'll do two perfect all right so he's gonna have to use all four because it's gonna take two to kill us plus our two block there we go excellent okay Beautiful. Like a charm. Okay. Let's see what we get out of the rare... The rare pack in the Infinity Battle. Let's see if we get a hybrid. It'd be fantastic if we do. 
Oh, we do. We do get a hybrid. Excellent. A corner raptor for us. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That's like uh, 7,000, 8,000 DNA pickup. Take that. And then another rare pack next time. Beautiful. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to speed up this guy. So I do not want an offer for the corner raptor. Uh, we'll put the corner raptor in there, and then we'll go check the trade harbor. Let's see what we have. We just a little bit more food. And uh, my <coughs> my refreshes are off. Um, so it happens when you get busy and forget to check it on time. Uh, so this won't happen for another eight hours, which is the same thing with my food, uh, VIP food bank, which uh, we've got uh, seven more days to go before we can upgrade to see what level four is going to bring. We've also got uh, 15 more days until the VIP instant creation lab can be put down, uh, which is exciting. I'm also curious to see if that's going to be another... Uh, four square building if it is um i'll have to figure out what i'm going to change over here because i don't want to go any further this direction this is my apatosaurus uh, bank space but technically i don't need to put down 36 apatosaurus fossils and so um at a time uh, so maybe we'll see maybe i will come out um this direction um, but we do have a lot of buildings to come still. So we've got the VIP Instant Creation Lab. We've got the VIP SDNA Production Site. we got the VIP Instant Recovery Lab. And then we got the VIP Instant Hatchery. So we got one, two, three, four more buildings to go. Um, and so maybe those will all go kind of in a row um, along uh, this road here. Um, We'll have to see. We'll see what it looks like. Let's, uh, let's collect all this stuff here. This is why it's important to do the daily events. Still have to do PvP, but uh, in the essence of not making this video too long, I will. Um, I think I'm gonna stop it here. So everybody, be safe. Um, by the way, I did not realize this uh, on the last video, but. Uh, uh, the forum's always been talking about the Lydicious Unlock that's coming uh, tomorrow, which is fantastic since we just got a new hybrid for it. Um, but uh, the tournament this weekend is going to be the Indominus Rex Gen 2. So while we did spend a whole bunch of DNA to uh, unlock it um, just a week or so ago, um, two weeks ago, I think, uh, now we have a tournament for it, which is nice. Um, you know, an extra copy of it is always a good thing. Uh, that is going to be worth... Oh, what is that going to be worth? That is going to be worth... Let's see... Yeah, 29,400 DNA. Um, so, worth it. <laughs> For sure. Um, and what was the corner raptor? Oh, yeah, 7,000. So 7,700 DNA is basically what we won in that uh, rare pack. Uh, which is obviously awesome. So, uh, and with that, that will do it for today. Everybody stay safe. I will see you on the next video. If you made it this far, I appreciate you watching all the way to the end. Subscribing to my channel and clicking the notification bell will ensure that you'll be notified as I release videos on the channel. If you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting the like button. If there is something specific you would like a video on in the game, please leave a message in the comment section below on what you would like to see. Again, thank you for tuning in, and I will catch you on the next one.